Hello and welcome to VTech. My name is Viral. Uh, we are going to cover VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP formulas today on Microsoft Excel. Uh, the version that I'm using is 2019. It's pretty much the same in any of the Microsoft Excel versions. Uh, this is a quick video on understanding what VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP formulas are, when to use them. Uh, yeah, so let's get right into it. So to begin with, let's assume that you're given a sheet like this wherein uh, you know you don't have all of these uh, details available you're expected to fill in all these details right and now you know that these details are mentioned in another sheet or maybe another workbook like here so of course um, if you don't know the formula what you'll end up doing is you know using control f feature so it's not a simple you know copy paste uh, because as you can see the order of the names differ it's not in the same order as uh, it appears here and at the same time we don't have the employee codes uh, as well in the other sheet what we're going to do is uh, I mean what would you typically do if you don't know how to use VLOOKUP or HLOOKUP formula is uh, you will use control F you will first copy this control C go to the other sheet control F paste it find out yes uh, Bailey was born on 27th October 1974 and then try and paste that you know information here Right. This will take forever. In, I mean, these are just 20 entries, but imagine if there are 100 entries, you'll spend the entire day at work just getting the data, right? Now, I'm going to show you a trick where you can do this in a in couple of seconds like this. Yeah, like this. So uh, let's get right into it. We'll start with VLOOKUP formula. Uh, there are a couple of things that you'll have to keep in mind before you use a VLOOKUP formula or make an attempt to use a VLOOKUP formula. So these are we have to ensure that at least one column has matching entries all right so for example either the employee code or the name or any one of these columns should have a matching entry in your in your sheet so for example bailey it should be written exactly the way it is written there in this sheet so only when the data matches in both the sheets is when you'll be able to perform a vlook of you know successfully that is in this column for our example we have this column which where the data matches in terms of the exact entries so with that being done you can then go ahead with the vlookup formula so it would look something like this is equal to v look up open bracket and as you can see it is asking me to select the lookup value so in our case lookup value would be the name and select the first name and then add a comma once I add the comma, it is asking me to select the table array. So I'll go to the actual sheet where we have the data. Now here, since I've selected the name, my selection here will have to start from uh, the same column. So I'll select name. And now the other details I'm looking for is date of birth. So I'll drag it up to date of birth, right? You must have noticed that when I made the selection, there was a number that appeared next to the selection. That is 2C right now. If I move it further, it is 3C and here it is 4C. What it represents is the column. So we are on the second column here. This is the first column that we have selected. Second, third and fourth. All right. So our data that we are looking for is in second column. So I would leave the selection up to that and then add comma second column because that's where the data is. So column index number becomes two here, comma zero and close the bracket all right and then i'll hit enter so when i hit enter automatically excel will check uh, the name where does it match on this sheet and then provide the entry you know that is in the, in the column c against that name all right so that's what uh, has happened here and i've got the details for bailey her date of birth is 27th October 1974. Now all I have to do is drag the formula all the way down for all the entries. If I want, I can just double click on it and automatically it will fill in the details for the rest of the employees as well, right? So that's uh, how you use VLOOKUP formula. Let's do a quick recap. So what we have done is we have used the VLOOKUP formula by typing is equal to VLOOKUP, open bracket, select the name, comma, go back to the original sheet where the data is select the com column which has the uh, name because we have selected name as a lookup value 
and then drag it up to date of birth because that's what we are trying to get and uh, make a note of the column number in this case it is 2 so we will further write comma 2 comma 0 and close the bracket right and hit enter so there we go we have the date of birth and we can either drag the formula or double click on it to uh, you know copy the formula for rest of the entries right so that was for uh, date of birth similarly we can uh, pop same formula for email address as well so let's quickly try and do that we look up open bracket selecting the name comma again we'll go back to this sheet where the name is mentioned now this time our selection will have to be beyond C because the email addresses are mentioned in the D column right at the same time please note that the column number has changed now um, it's changed to 3 so in this case we are going to add comma 3 comma 0 and close the bracket hit enter now we have the corresponding email addresses for each of them right again we can drag the formula and get the details for the rest of them right and the third one for date of joining again we can use VLOOKUP formula VLOOKUP open bracket I'm going to select the name again add a comma go back to the sheet and this time I'm going to drag the formula all the way up to the fourth column right as you can see this is the fourth column so I'm going to add comma and add four to it comma zero and close the bracket right so now we have date of joining as well right so this is how you know, the VLOOKUP formula would work if you're wondering why is it called VLOOKUP is uh, simply because wow what a thought why is it called VLOOKUP <music>
drag your mouse to the selection of um, the random data H sheet where you see the selection from I2 to you know that column click there and then press F4 all right so F4 what it does is when you see the dollar sign next to it it means the formula range is now locked it will not move even if you drag the formula all right now simply I'm going to hit enter okay now I have the formula for the first one let's try and drag it again and see if it works there we go it worked Yay! Right? so that's uh, something that you'll have to keep in mind when you're running uh, HLOOKUP formula and of course you can do the same thing for email address and uh, date of joining as well again you know H look up open bracket you select the name comma go to the sheet where the data is or the row where the name is mentioned drag it up to email address now you must have noticed it's gone up to three hours so that's the third row what we're going to do next is comma three comma zero close the bracket hit enter right so now we have this what is the tip um, to ensure that you know the data gets captured you click here in between the selection and then click on I mean press F4 to lock the data and hit enter right now you'll be able to drag this formula for the rest of the entries so that's uh, that's pretty much it guys you know for VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP I hope you've learned something today and um, like I keep uh, saying uh, you know all the time please practice if you practice you'll be able to you know get good at it uh, if you don't have a data sheet to practice what I'm going to do is I'm going to share this um, uh, template with you on with this video so you can check the description and you'll find this uh, template available for download so you can practice it the couple of things like I said you have to keep in mind the first one being ensuring that the name uh, the main entries are correctly mentioned the names should match uh, they should be identical if there is a spelling mistake if there is extra space we look up or H look up formula will not capture that so preferably I would all strongly recommend that you use uh, you know uh, employee code again instead of using a name right if we were given here another column which had uh, you know the employee codes instead of names I would prefer employee codes because uh, the chances of mistake with the employee code are lesser compared to the mistakes with the name there could be a misspell there could be uh, first name last name you know swapped so that's something that uh, is important to you know remember and uh, apart from that um, the other important bit is to always uh, remember that the data that you are looking for you know with the help of name or maybe with the help of uh, e uh, employee code whatever data you're looking for must should always be on the right hand side columns and not before you know these columns right so it has to be on the right hand side of these col uh, this column and not on the left hand side of this column right then only the formula works otherwise it will not work right so yep uh, these were the key you know things to remember whilst using VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP I'll continue this uh, series of you know coming up with uh, more and more uh, functions and formulas of Excel uh, to help uh, everybody understand you know these fascinating and easy you know formulas to get things done quickly all right so thank you for watching please do subscribe if you haven't already so yeah so watch out for all of that and uh, uh, please do like comment uh, subscribe and uh, share it with friends and family members and even if you don't do any of that that's absolutely fine thank you for watching this video and uh, yeah see you next time bye bye